Hi guys, thanks for joining me. This is your reading for Wednesday, the 7th of October, 2015. Thanks for joining me. It's really nice to be with you. I'm using the Radiant Right Away deck again, which is one of my favorite decks. The favorite deck, actually. I use this in all of my private readings. And um, let's have a look at what's coming up for you on this day. First of all, the Five of Pentacles is in reverse here, and that's a really wonderful sign. Because if you look at this card this way around, it's a couple who've been rejected by the church or some sort of institution who are out in the cold. No one cares. They have to struggle along. He's ill. You know, it, it looks pretty tough and they have to kind of just struggle through. Really, really tough. It's in reverse, which means the hardship is over. If you apply yourself, people will welcome you with open arms. You will find a sense of belonging and community and peace. And things are getting easier. You don't have to you know, wade through the snow by yourself. The next card is Temperance, and it's interesting because the theme in the last two days really has been about moving forward and facing your fears and continuing to progress and doing what it is you can. And this card represents that as well. You've got the angel here. It's perfectly balanced between the spiritual and the earthly plane, dipping its toe into the water, facing feelings, facing emotions, facing fears, and then by facing them, detoxing and moving forward until that point of enlightenment, of success, of getting where you want to go. So yesterday may have seemed a little bit tough. Monday may have seemed like you had to really apply yourself to break down obstacles. But today things are getting easier and you're seeing yourself move along to where it is you want to go. Again, I particularly get this is in regard to your hopes and dreams, you know, ambitions that you have about yourself what you'd like to achieve in your life. And we it's important that you face those. You know, if it was easy, then no one would strive and struggle and be ambitious to succeed. Um, and sometimes you really have to apply yourself. Especially in the New Age community, there's often a sense that if it doesn't just appear effortlessly and easily, then it's, it's not meant to be. I really disagree with that. Um, some of the things that you want in life, you really have to work for. And sometimes it doesn't feel um, amazing. And you sometimes, you know, it's important to just put in the legwork to get to where you want to go. The final card is the Two of Wands in reverse. The Two of Wands, you can see someone holding the world in the palm of his hand and having total control, feeling empowered, feeling full of passion and joy. He couldn't be any redder if he tried. And he's standing on the threshold of moving forward in his life. It's in reverse. So even though you don't feel totally in control of life, of all of your situations, maybe you don't see the outcome just yet. Maybe if you don't see the the um, opportunities present themselves, keep going. Have faith that things will work out. The best things sometimes in life are the ones that you can't control and that you can't see coming. So really all you need to do on this day, all the cards are saying is, Left foot, right foot, keep going, keep following the dream, and you will get there. But don't get discouraged today, don't give up hope, and believe in yourself. You can do it, I believe in you. Okay, 5, what's this, 14 is 19, and 2 is 21, 2 and 1 is 3, and 3 is about an um, expression, it's about new beginnings, and it's about freedom as well. So continue on that path and you will find what it is you're looking for. But it may, you know, the, the day itself may have an air of I'm, I'm kind of bumbling along. I'm kind of working my way through things. Keep your eye on the goal and don't get distracted by different things. Don't say, oh, you know, um, I'm not making progress here anyway. I'll go to the pub and have a, have a, you know, a liquid lunch or these paintings that I'm doing are uninspired. Let me just throw them out and do something completely different. Or um, this health situation is never going to get better, so I might as well go back to eating McDonald's. Don't don't go into that mode. If you go into that mode, you flip this card around and things get even harder. Sometimes we've just got to hang in there. Have a wonderful day. If you'd like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you'll see the types of readings that I offer. And please remember to subscribe to the channel.